Got a bunch of large monarch larvae here. I'm going to put in the monarch habitat. Beautiful thing right here. So I have my caterpillar container here. Where I've put in milkweed. Here's a caterpillar. Beautiful. And that one's over there. Don't know what's going on over there. Probably trying to shed some skins. Couldn't find the third one. Thought maybe crystallized somewhere on these sticks, but I guess these sticks were not good enough for him or her. She's up here. A little hard to see in this light, but she's gonna be a beautiful butterfly soon. I'm very excited to watch the process. All right, here we have opened. And I'm missing a caterpillar already. Oh, there he is. Mm, both boobs are ginormous. So yeah, there's kind of a poop problem. Not really a problem, I mean, you know, probably should rinse all this out, clean it out, I don't know, but we got a little crystallis right here. There we go. Going to try moving this inside, because it's going to be raining for the next week. We are here in the Ford room, that is incomplete still. And I have moved my little container inside. And I brought this wormy guy here. And this is a swan balloon milkweed. I think swan because of the color of the flowers, balloon because of the seed pods. They look like balls. <laughs> little balloons. And, um, yeah. And so I'll leave them here. Like so. All right, okay. There we go. And now we have come full circle. I have found my first monarch egg. I will be putting it in my little monarch cage here. Lynx approves. And here we are. My first successful monarch uh, life cycle thing. My first baby. My first butterfly baby. Let's see if it's a boy or girl. Come out, sweepy.
I think her wings are too heavy for her to stand upright. So, um, and I can't, I don't, I don't know if I can hold her for two hours, but the wings could take 30 minutes to two hours to completely dry. There we go, much better. Eventually her wings won't be so heavy. Like she cannot hold her wings up at all. They're just too heavy for her. It's like the difference between a dry paper towel and a wet paper towel. You can tell she's sleeping because she's not like, oh, she's not moving at all. She's not moving her mouth pieces. And she's kind of like drooped over, just chilling on it. All right, so I put the milkweed in there with flowers. She's still in her exact same spot. Thought I was about to wake her up because she started moving her antennas. I was like, no. But I put the milkweed in there. There's some new flowers on there that have opened up. So she'll have a little bit to snack on before I release her out into the wilderness. Let her gain some strength. Here we are. The great outdoors. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful. Come on, little girl. Let's go. I'm going to try putting her on this milkweed here. First milk weeds. So I have found two monarch eggs. Um, two with little white dots. I'll be adding them to my little collection. So we've got our third one here. I don't know when she hatched, but it's a girl. And she's beautiful. She's a beautiful butterfly. And uh, it's raining, so I'm not gonna release her today. I think she'll be okay in here. All right. So today we are releasing our third butterfly here. It is a female. Let's see, she'll go for it. Here we are releasing my third butterfly. Ooh. Where she goes.
All right, so here we have the Monarch enclosure. We got some babies that are getting ready to start crystallizing themselves. We already got one crystallis here. This guy, I feel like he was a caterpillar just yesterday, but he's still finishing up actually, going into full metamorphosis now. Their body completely breaks down into nothing. Like an egg in there now, without like a body. Um, as you can see from this general overview, the monarchs have just chowed down completely on all of the leafage. There are a few more in there and I need to get them all onto a bigger plant so they can eat more. So here we have a close-up of our little babies here. So far I have counted up to 24 larvae. All different sizes and I'm pretty sure my plants have a bunch of eggs in them too. That still need a hatch, possibly maybe. Well I guess if they were gonna hatch, they were gonna hatch by now. All right, so here we are, November 22nd. Looking at the Monarch exhibit over here. These Monarchs up here have not started to crystallize yet. There are four, though, five, six. There are at least six up in here that will soon be turning into a pupa chrysalis. I do believe monarchs are the only ones that do this whole like chrysalis thing. We got tons of aphids in here, it's fine, they'll die at some point. Got lots of caterpillars in this milkweed forest. I have heat going on at night just to make sure it stays above 50 degrees because it was getting down to 30 and sometimes it gets down to 40. Got a bunch of large monarch larvae here. I'm going to put in the monarch habitat. Beautiful thing right here.